Hello, beautiful people. I hope you're doing amazing today. Um, I'm here to talk to you about a great opportunity if you ever need a website or, or want to build an application. Uh, this is a crazy opportunity that I urge you to not miss. Um, I've been working on my website uh, with uh, WordPress for many years and I have lost so much time looking for the right plugin, uh, learning the platform, also waiting for the platform to, lo to load. Uh, looking for so, so many plugins, learning the plugin, buying the plugin, finding a way to finding a plugin, an application to group all of my websites and being able to, uh, you know, update the plugins and everything. So WordPress is just a massive waste of time, in my opinion, right now, and you really don't need it, uh, except if you already know it or if you... Yeah, if you don't have the opportunity I'm going to show you and you really don't have money, maybe you can use WordPress. I don't know, but I, I really think yeah, WordPress, you should absolutely avoid. Um, it's, it's really a waste of energy. That's crazy how much time I lost on WordPress. And it will be the same for you um, if you if you begin to learn WordPress and uh, all of its uh, you know functionalities, everything. That's not the best. So... Um, uh, here I'm going to tell you to, 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 to show you an alternative um, to Webflow. It's uh, actually the, the same thing, except that they are very new. So of course, a lot of the features are not uh, very advanced. I mean, not as much as Webflow. Um, I haven't used Webflow uh, a lot, but I'm, I maybe tried it once. So this is a website builder, but not only. This is uh, also a CMS. This is also an app builder. This is low code which means you can totally use it without knowing anything about web development, about coding and everything. But you can also use it if you're a developer and you can enhance the website you're building with some uh, JavaScript and uh, you know custom code and everything like that. So uh, this is exactly the perfect mix between um, something for non-techie and for techie. And personally, I really, really like this approach because I'm not losing time building my website I mean, I'm not losing time learning the platform um, yeah, and building the stack and uh, doing some maintenance and uh, stuff like that, which I don't care about when I, I just want to have a, the best website ever and make money with it. I'm not here to learn uh, technical stuff and, and uh, yeah, spend my time, my time on this. So, um, um, yeah, this is the perfect alternative. This is a perfect mix because you can still, you don't have to uh, put your hands into the code. I'm going to, because I'm talking too much, I'm going to, to show you right now. You don't have to, to put your hands into the code, but you can if you want, and you can in a manner that is really... Wait... Okay, I thought I was uh, blocking the road, but no. So uh, you can uh, add code in a manner that is really uh, effective, okay? So uh, this is a perfect mix, mix, and you really should not miss this. Uh, with one code of uh, $59, you will have one custom domain connected to the platform, uh, 100 gigabytes of bandwidth, which is more, more, more than enough, uh, 2,000 CMS items, 2,000 form submits per month, and two gigabytes of uh, CDN storage for your website and your images and uh, video if you want, maybe. Um, and it will double with uh, every code. Personally, I'm going to stack uh, as much as I can, and you can stack uh, till uh, 10 codes. Uh, this is um, uh, many people, uh, there are many, many great reviews, but people are complaining about the uh, custom domain uh, limitation. You know that every, everyone is saying this is an amazing platform. So <laughs> I agree with them. And uh, yeah, the custom domains, they explain that they really can't add any more to every code because they have some uh, cost on their end. So that's a shame, but it's still an amazing deal. Hey, you, we're, going, we're going to see uh, Webflow pricing just for reference. So yeah, if we want one custom domain, we have $14 per month, but zero 
CMS item, which is bad. Uh, okay, so this is equivalent to this plan of a Webflow, um, $23 a month. So for two months of Webflow, you've got a lifetime of different. Okay, you cannot miss it. You cannot miss it. I'm going to show you the platform. Uh, this is when uh, you're logged in and everything. You've got a project, billing, settings, activity, affiliate on uh, this side. Um, I'm going to show you maybe a new project just to show you how it works. You've got some templates. So that means if you're... Yeah, if you want to have a website uh, very fast and uh, not, nothing um, uh, original from you, you can just um, uh, you can just use clone a template. We're going to do this, and um, you have only one custom domain per uh, code, but you can not now, but soon you'll be able to export. Um, the code generated by different in uh, HTML and, you know, files. And these files, you can take them and host them anywhere. You can send them to Netlify and host them for free. So um, really, um, th this will be just a, a minor um, task on your end to have uh, more domains uh, uh, to build website uh, with a different. Um, the only problem with this approach is that uh, uh, you cannot really build an application this way. Or, uh, I mean, you cannot update the content. When you update the content, you will have to also export the code again and uh, deploy it again to Netlify or Vercel or whatever you're using. But if you see it's just a static website, you can do this once and uh, you will have a website uh, for free. So, yeah, you can um, you can count on the, the stuff. Okay, so we have a, this is deployed. Now we can go to the admin of uh, the website where I can have the name, website description, media, logo, favicon, cover. Okay, I can add custom code here. They have everything, you know, uh, header, header, start, after the body, you know, like the plugin you use on WordPress. You can have forms, which I haven't really tried yet. Uh, you can also translate your website in uh, how many, as much languages uh, as you want. Um, I have no idea how this works, but I know this is possible. I haven't tried this, uh, but I wanted to do the video because it's uh, leaving in seven days. You can add custom font here, and they have a marketplace uh, where you can publish um, plugins and uh, make money from it, I guess. Yeah, this is, a, this, this is going to be an amazing platform, and it's already an amazing platform. To be, to be fair and to be honest, um, it's, already, yeah, it's already really, really uh, worth your money. Okay, application. This is um, to... Uh, okay, I'm still learning, but I, want, I wanted to show you the rest of it. Mm, go to admin. Um, yes, I wanted to show you that uh, they already have some plugins. So you can use Airtable and uh, synchronize your uh, all of your items with uh, within Airtable to the CMS, I, I guess, in a um, different. So it's already amazing. And soon they are going to do it for um, Notion too. So you can have, for example, what, what I have uh, is a Notion database with all of my blog posts. And then you'll be able to synchronize it with uh, Webflow. But uh, the CMS is so good that I, I'm going to use um, a different uh, as a CMS instead of uh, Notion because Notion is slow and I can't stand it. And uh, different is, is just uh, very, very fast. So you've got a very interesting uh, plugins. For example, you can add uh, features like counters, uh, sliders, YouTube embeds, tilt. Uh, um, I already have installed many installed uh, on the other project. You know, it's per project. Um, tabs, hamburger menu, accordion, Lati, font has some icons, so you don't have to uh, go look for icons on the web. Pretty fun, strappy if you want to use uh, this uh, uh, CMS uh, instead. Simple filtering and uh, Markdown to HTML for the CMS, so you will uh, write. Uh, everything in Markdown and you, it will show as a HTML on your website. Lightbox uh, Gallery and um, yeah, this is already so, so, so useful. So we're going to go to the creator. Uh, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay, here. You see, 
this is working uh, like Webflow and also like Figma. You know, uh, this is an infinite Canva. I can uh, scroll out and um, navigate uh, as I want with a Zoom. And this is really, really practical. You don't have to change, um, you know, you don't have to change uh, pages and everything. And you can choose, if I go page here on the left, you can choose um, to go to some page and you can choose to hide also page, you know. On page, now it's showing. Now it's not showing if I remove it. Wait. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> now, if you want to, you've got this clone. If you want to modify something, of course you can. You just have to go um, with this button here. You will, oh, they changed. They just add this. Nice. Or maybe I didn't know. Okay, whatever. Uh, you can choose ele elements here and you will have a, all of your plugins that are uh, useful here, you can add, you know, uh, new tabs, for example, if I put it here, it will show in there. You have many other elements. This is uh, blocks that are already made. You have also wireframes. And so you've got everything you need to build a perfect website, whatever it is. Uh, it's already, you know, it's already built, so you don't have to... Um, you can only use uh, these blocks. And once you've got uh, your perfect uh, alignment of blocks and everything, you can, of course, modify everything with uh, the element on the right. So this is all um, modifiable by uh, mouse, but also by code. If you, you know, I can add uh, some uh, paddings here. And what I want to say is, if you're adding custom code, which is here. Um, if you're adding custom code, for example, see, margin left 89 pixel, and if I change it to zero, let's zero. Oh, I'm not great coder. Uh, of course, it's going to show here, but it's also going to show here, you know, zero and zero. So um, the interface is um, synchronized, and it's not the case on Webflow, for example. And uh, so you can also add, um, any modification you want, like colors and everything. They have a wall system. You've, you can add a class. For example, if I add here a class of uh, red and uh, I change, let's say, I change the background color to red. Uh, if I add this class somewhere else, it's supposed to change, you know, it's uh, it's it's really amazing the, the way they built this. So you have many ways to to do what you want with your stuff. Okay, um, it's not easy to speak in English, eh? really. Uh, what uh, can I show to you? You also have, of course, responsive views, and then you can uh, change whatever you want. Uh, here we go, so zoom. Here we can see a preview of our website, and it is instant, you know. If I change anything, for example, Let's go back to the home page and let's change uh, this button here. Get in touch. If I go to settings, I will have the text and I can write hello instead. Okay, I click uh, somewhere else. I don't have to publish. And if I go back to my website, you know, it's changed. So you don't have to, um, to publish and uh, to, yeah, you can just click here. And because it's on the same uh, computer, uh, everything is synchronized, but your your um, visitors won't see it until you publish. So this is a great way to build a website without having to always open new tab and uh, reload and uh, publish before, you know. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm tired already of speaking in English. Okay. Um, I don't know what much uh, I will show you. Um, the components, what is this? Oh, this is a co the elements that you've taken that you use uh, in your website. The layers is, it's a tree of uh, HTML that is shown in, um, it's very practical, you know, you can collapse 
everything and if you click right on anything you will uh, have a delete converter and uh, whatever and if i do you know for example this is uh, the footer let's say i want to have five footer i don't know why but you can just don't have to copy and paste every time you can just use this loop function oh maybe i haven't wait selected the, the writer Mm, uh, why? Why it's not? Oh, okay, here it was not selected, right? You can just use this loop function and you have a, how much, uh, how many you want. So this is amazing to build the grids. And this is amazing to also, you know, when you have a grid, you are able to, um, to fetch the content of the CMS, which I will show you just right now. When you will go, um, you know, here you can select source and, oh, I don't have any CMS for this project. I'm going to show the other. And you can uh, go and fetch uh, any um, attribute and, uh, and show it on your website. So you can build really, really complex uh, applications, which you would have been uh, built uh, with um, queries on uh, WordPress, for example. Uh, let's see uh, the other stuff. You can see you're supposed to see the uh, the files here, like HTML and everything. So I don't know why you don't see them. Uh, here you've got uh, your classes. You can save some colors and uh, reuse it, uh, reuse them uh, really easily. Here you can add um, div container to your to your tree. And you can also add headings, paragraph written images, an order list form, embed, rich text, and JSON. Okay, so you can do exactly the same that you could do with uh, Webflow. They have a comparison between Webflow and uh, different other YouTube channel, and they explain uh, something very well. Okay, this is a creator, and now what I want to show you is, oh, I know why. Okay, let's get out of here because I don't ha I haven't uh, added um, the CMS as a plugin on this. Uh, website, so that's why I can't see it. But I'm going to show you my website that I'm working on, and you will see that we have this icon with this collection, and this is the um, this is the CMS. So for you that don't know, a CMS is a content management people with uh, content management um, CMS content management system. Yeah, I'm tired. Sorry, a content management system which uh, which WordPress is. And uh, this is just a way to, to stock elements of content. And um, yeah, this is just a, a way to stock elements of content. And uh, usually it's uh, headless and you will uh, fetch uh, the items with uh, some code and show them elsewhere. For WordPress, for example, this is a CMS, but this is also a website builder. So you have both. You have the content and you take it and you make uh, some pages and everything like that. So here we can do the same. We have the builder for the website, drag and drop. And we also have the collection, which is a CMS. And uh, you can create a new collection. I have three, one for pages, one for blog, one for apps. And um, if I click on them, I have all of my elements. This is all apps that I will show on my website. If I click on one, I have um, all of the information about the app, and this is the information I chose myself. So you can show stuff in tab and everything. Finish editing, duplicate. If I, I can, of course, add new items, and you can see how fast this is. This is so pleasant to use because I usually use Notion, and for every click on Notion, when you want to build a new page, you have to wait at least one second and a half, and it's just so annoying. So I'm definitely going to move all of my stuff here. And um, so what I wanted to explain is that you can build the blueprint that will show for every collection. For example, for the apps, I have, if I click here, you've seen, um, I have to run all of this field. I added one field for the place for the country, and for the country, I chose also a width of 50%. I have options um, to, because the type of this field is a select, I can add uh, options. And um, 
I added other ones. I can add sections. I can add a new tab, as you've seen, where I have all other features, so it's easy to organize. And if I add a new file field, I can choose between uh, several um, field type, uh, text, rich text, um, select media switch and date. If you're interested, I can make a full, full, full um, formation about how to use uh, the, the tool as its most uh, capabilities with some explanation about HTML, uh, the code, the JavaScript and everything and how apps works. But this is just um, a big overview and um, you can do the same for blog posts. Too. So you have to choose, you choose what your blog entity will consist of. Um, right now, I only have article for blogs, but of course, I will add some other stuff. For example, I will add the metadata. Uh, I will add a um, description for SEO. I will choose. Oh no! I will just yeah, because this is a section. Then I can add, for example, a, a, a text meta description. And uh, this will be useful for my SEO. You can do everything that you need in SEO. This is uh, really something really important for me. And um, I read uh, everything they said, and you can do uh, you can do everything that's needed. You can even do open graph images and uh, stuff like that. So um, you see, I've got this meta description here. And if I go back to the builder, for example, um, I can um, link the CMS stuff to what I want on the builders. So I don't really know where the SEO, I should uh, link it already. But for example, I, as I told you, you can, um, if you go, no, it's not here. If you go to advanced, you can link what's in your CMS. 